Hey everybody, this is just a quick tutorial to get you started using Klecky. Now Klecky is a cloud-based um, digital program that lets you colorize or color or add text uh, to an image. Or you can just start from scratch from a blank canvas and draw your own uh, designs and drawings. But in the last tutorial, we uploaded an image that we can now color using Klecky. And I'm going to show you some of the tools right now. So on the top uh, right of your screen, you'll see the word Klecky. And then right below that, there's a brush shaped um, icon. And below that, there's the word brush. Now, if I click this uh, brush shaped icon, something else pops up. There's a, a bucket, a letter T for text to add words, and shape tool. Well, I'm going to show you how to use the paint bucket and the brush in this tutorial. So I have it on brush. I want to go over here to where it says layers and I want to hit the plus and I want to make another layer. So now we're on layer three. So go back to the fill and I'm going to use a green color. So I went to this rainbow slider and just clicked on it, but you can slide it uh, side to side. And then I'm going to pick a brighter, more intense green from the top right corner of this palette. And then I'm going to go over to my drawing and start filling this in. Now I notice that it's kind of hard to see, so I'm going to select the plus to zoom in. And then, whoops, I just filled that area in. And I'm going to scoot my screen down. I had to use two, a thumb and a finger to scoot it down on the Chromebook, the touchscreen ones. But this should just fill in what is already closed in, you know, a closed in shape. So if it wasn't completely closed in, it would fill in more than what I want. But for right now, this shape is... Uh, closed in and I just colorized the word Lorax. So I want to go back over now and select layers. I'm going to add another layer. This is layer four. And I'm going to go back to fill and I'm going to select an orange color. And I'm going to take the top intense orange color and fill in this uh, truffula tree. Now the spaces around the letters or inside the letters didn't fill in because they're not connected. So I had to connect those. Then I'm going to go to the paint bucket and then select the drop down to get the brush. I'm going to go back down to this palette and select a lighter version of orange. And I'm going to select this, um, chalk um, texture and I'm going to make the size a little bit bigger and I made it to 78 and I'm going to make the opacity a lot lower I'm going to make it down to about 50. So I'm going to come over here and you'll see that this um, brush is really really big so I'm just going to click it and see how it's adding some highlight texture. And I might put some out here. And notice how it's going outside of the lines. That's okay for this, for this part. You'll also notice that it's getting on top of the letters. And I'll show you how to fix that. So now I'm going to go down to the palette and select a, a darker value. And I'm going to click around on the bottom and add some of these textures in here. And still, it's okay that it goes outside the lines um, because there's a way to fix that. So I'm also going to go back down, change my size of my brush. So now it's just a little tiny thing. And I'm going to move the intensity up. And then I can just click and make some little extra texture marks in here that are a little bit bigger. So you hold down the, the left click button and you drag the mouse. 
So it's not as easy to do on the trackpad, but you'll get the hang of it. If you find that you've made a mark that you don't want to make, you want to undo it, here's an undo button. And you just click that and those lines disappear. Now notice, uh, remember when I said it didn't matter that we painted over the Lorax words? Well, this is why, because the Lorax words are on layer three. And layer three right now sits underneath layer four. But if we click and pull it up, now the Lorax words are on top of layer four, and that texture is not on top of this anymore. So I'm still gonna use, I'm gonna go back and use my fill bucket. I'm gonna choose a blue-green color, and I'm gonna fill the background area, and I have to be on the layer that's got this um, paint in it already, this texture, and I'm just gonna fill it in. So all of this stuff you might have to re you know just get on top of the spot you want to change to make go away and i don't really mind that little texture there but if you don't like it just put your icon on top of it and just click and it'll fill it in so that is a quick explanation on how to use layers and how to add some texture using the paint brush and the paint bucket. Have fun making your artwork.